Well, to another big stalemate in Kenya today, the mediation talks spearheaded by the Law Society of Kenya to resolve the Supreme Court judge's retirement age issue appears to have collapsed. The LSK and the Judicial Service Commission members held closed-door talks at the Supreme Court but came out with nothing as both sides held their ground. KTN's associate editor, Noel Tena, reports. The two and a half hour talks meant to circumvent a possibly long litigation process at the Supreme Court ironically served as what might be the final nail in the coffin of the mediation process. When they came out, there was no white smoke, there was no deal. It seems now that Deputy Chief Justice Kalpana Rawal and Justice Philip Tinoy may have to get their day in court to fight to stay as judges of the Supreme Court. The Law Society of Kenya did not succeed in selling what the two judges had put on the table. Justice Tunoy perhaps had the simplest demand. He wanted to be allowed to stay as a judge of the Supreme Court until the tribunal currently hearing bribery allegations against him concludes its process. Then he would retire after hopefully clearing his name. The Deputy Chief Justice Rawal wanted to serve until the end of this year, then she would be willing to retire but only after getting her benefits calculated to what she would have earned had she served till the age of 74 and full pension. The Judicial Service Commission was having none of this. The Commission responded by saying a superior court had already confirmed what the Constitution said, that the retirement age for the judges should be 70 years. JSC says it has no power to extend the retirement age or to confer benefits not allowed by the law. For that matter, the JSC says it is not willing to engage in mediation. The talks will not have concluded until Monday morning, so give me time to carry on with this process. Wait for the commission. The commission will give you a definitive statement. Barring any further attempts to rescue the mediation process before Monday, it now appears Rawal and Tunoy will be appellants before their comrades and boss at the Supreme Court. Now, Tinukitian Friday Briefing.